Joanne, good afternoon. We are here awaiting the next major development in this case. It's kind of turned into a media encampment, if you will. Even Good Morning America has spent some time here this morning. Of course, we are awaiting a new development because it has been a very rapidly developing story. As you know, last night there was, or yesterday, there was a major development in the case. A person has come forward to say that they actually had involvement with Jane Bashara's murder. And since that time, and even before, all eyes have been on Bob Bashara. Our cameras were trained outside of his home early this morning and we got a glimpse of him leaving his home in a GMC envoy right around 930 this morning. Of course, again, yesterday morning, Joseph Gens walked into the Gross Point Park Police Department and essentially admitted to having played a serious and significant role in the murder of Jane Bashara. And at that time, it is said, sources have told us that he has also implicated Bob Bashara in his wife's murder. And so at this time, again, we're awaiting the next major development in this case. We're told that Bashara's attorney, David Grimm, has told investigators that he will provide Bashara should they need to speak with him, but we're told that there are no plans to bring him in. There's no arrest that is imminent at this time, so we are uh, awaiting a call back from the Gross Point Park police chief to see if, if any other information is available. Yeah, Malcolm, I know you'll be following it all day for us today because a lot of questions uh, about if he did implicate Bashara and if he did, why there hasn't been an arrest warrant. So I know you'll stay on top of it for us and we'll bring our viewers the very latest throughout the day. Thank you.